Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are racing to the barn, um, lots to say, but we have to meet the chiropractor there and I forgot to tell Sam to go get me money last night, so I have to run to the bank first. Also, Santa, please bring me a travel coffee mug. I, I drink one cup of coffee a day, that's it, in the morning, and I never needed one before, but now with all these early mornings, mama needs a, a travel mug so she doesn't spill. Anyway, we'll see you guys at the barn. Good morning. Good morning. Shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gonna make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me. Um, wait till you guys see the video, the flashback Friday we have planned for this Friday. Oh my gosh, it is so funny and adorable. Like, it's so funny. Anyways, it was another lesson on Gabby. We're gonna find a lesson on Sophie. Um, it was a lesson on Gabby, and she was the same age that Sophie was last summer. So just last summer when Sophie was like jumping all those jumps and stuff. She was eight. Yeah, she was eight and a half. And Gabby was the same age as that and she was riding her horse and you actually see her riding in a lesson. And and at the end of the video, at the end of the lesson, her and her dad were complaining because her horse was so slow. <laughs> so in the video, um, her horse was so, so lazy and she could hardly get him to go. And at the very end of the video, her dad's like, problem is Gabby's horse is lazy and I, Sam and I were watching it and we just started laughing hysterically because little did we know that that was going to become a reality for a long time. Okay so that little trip to get money um, made us three minutes before our appointment. We have to have our horses in and groomed. A lot of you guys were talking about how a tired storm was in yesterday's lesson. What you guys didn't know was that the lesson went really long um, and he's not used to that. That's not something that will probably happen again. It was just a fluke thing. He also missed his breakfast. Like he had his grain a little while before. And, aw, uh, I see him! Clearly he's not too upset with Gabby. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he met her right at the gate. He went running for the gate as soon as she got there. Stella, she went running for the, no, just joking. <laughs> Oh my God, it almost happened. Oh my gosh, I turned off the camera. I turned off the camera and I heard Sophie scream and Stella turned around and took two steps toward her. But yeah, there, there's like a love-hate thing happening between the two of them. Okay, not love-hate. Anyways, you know what's really weird though? Um, I didn't, I don't know if I vlogged about it yesterday. I know, she did start walking. I know. Hurry up, go, go, go. Anyways, yesterday it was so crazy. Race car driver drove, rode Stella, drove Stella. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stella, huh? Stella, no, come on with us. She's like, but I want my breakfast. You're gonna like what's gonna happen, Stella. You're just coming here and being with our horses make us happy. You guys, you should know that if our horses couldn't run, couldn't walk, couldn't jump, we'd still keep them, we'd still love them, we'd still be here every day playing with our horses, handling our horses. Anyway, so yesterday, race car driver um, was riding Stella. And the second he stopped riding her and just sat on her, Stella kept running to Sophia. We need to keep playing him. Stella. Yeah, kept running to Sophia and he kept saying to her, I know she's your child. I know she's your child. Here, give her that. Okay, get her out of the door. I washed Sophie's pink bridle because it got muddy. It came out almost perfect. So I always tell the chiropractor, don't forget to remind me like a few days before my our appointment. Um, but this month I actually remembered. I was like, oh. I remember. Um, so she messaged me again last night and was like, don't forget I'm gonna be there. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Okay. And then I forgot the money. Oh. Um, so Hurry up. I started opening the gate with the latch. And so I just quickly turned around and stepped oh, no. two steps forward. Right, but really she was trying to make a getaway. <laughs> She's like, oh no, it's my girl. <laughs> no mom, because I was going like this chart. No, okay, hurry up, get her undone. Storm will go first, because Stella's more patient. Anyway, what I was saying was in yesterday's lesson, 
Stella kept going to Sophie. At one point she ran to Sophie and put her head in Sophie's armpit and was like, save me, keep me, you're my girl. Like Stella knows, she's just a mare. It's like my way or no way. And then when it's no way, she's like, help me. And she goes to the person she loves best. Practicing neck stretches. Uh, I need treats. There's an apple in my purse. Yes, we did it. Do chin to chest again. Storm can do it, kind of. Good girl. Yeah, no. Okay, so Storm was sore. And we're gonna check a couple of things. He doesn't look so sore now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's all. You just didn't have treats with you. Okay, try the chin to chest again. He doesn't get that. We'll do it like they did. He did with she. They did with Stella. She did with Stella. I know, but it's not a look it. You bite it. We'll take the look it. He looks like he's trying to bow. He does bow. Yeah, he knows <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stella's good at stretching. Stretching her neck right out. Stella will do anything for, for treats, huh? Oh, and you guys Look at her lick it. We've had this lick it for a long time and it like barely has a dent out of it. No, like it has a dent. It has a tiny dent. She lo loves them. Though. I know. He's like, I got all that chiropractic treatment. I just need some love now. Mm -hmm. Some yeah, treats. I, have treats. I know. Yeah. He's like, I'll eat leather. <laughs> I'll eat leather. Story on a shape that I know. She's a strong girl. It's funny how girls are sometimes so much stronger than boys. So Gabby's putting coconut oil on Storm's tail. I'm doing the best part. Too. I like this when the chiropractor comes and we can't ride and we just like groom them and. No, like when we were waiting for the satellite, it was the best thing ever. Yeah. Because Storm was just standing in the cross ties and we were like waving whips with like yeah. plastic bags around. Getting to just play with them is so fun, huh? You feel better? We got a reindeer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Storm's sleeping. Maybe he's not getting enough sleep. Storm, you gotta sleep more. No, he lays down in his um, stall. Thing. Yeah, stall. Because like all over Look his neck and brush on his back. <laughs> You're supposed to put it away, not leave it just sitting on him. Well, he's fine. Yeah, he's getting some love. Lots of coconut oil. Yes, because it helps him. All the him. yeah, all the horses are gonna be chasing him around. Like coconut oil. Do not eat this one because the dog left it. Yeah. <laughs> That lip. <laughs> I know she's got the funniest lip, though. It's like she's an old lady with no teeth. Yeah, um, it's, it's called an apple. The chiropractor said that walking apple. after an adjustment really gets everything moving and stuff again. So, girls are just letting their horses walk um, around in the arena just a little tiny bit. Uh, it's good for Stella because then she gets used to like sounds and <laughs> just food. 
<laughs> she did. She did a little spook. She's learning to spook like a regular horse now. All the noise. I was bomb proofing. Yeah, and that's good. That is bomb proofing. So that's good. I'm going to tell you guys what she said before I forget. And this is like my uh, understanding of it all. So basically, Storm, Storm's a little bit sore. And he is getting sore between adjustments. Like right when it's about to happen again, he starts to get a little bit sore. And it's his pelvis. And she said that basically because he doesn't really have a very big top line yet and he's not rounding properly like he's he thinks that that shoot i forget the word he thinks that just putting down his head is um getting some impulsion and moving from behind and it's not he needs to move from behind and we're kind of not quite there yet like with our skill level so that needs to happen and it's a process and so that's likely the issue that's why he's getting sore back there because he's sticking his head down and also our saddle is not perfect and that can definitely play a part and um so she worked on a lot of different exercises we can do to um fix that and yeah we had like a really good talk with her and she explains everything really well and and so that's that's like it's all a process it's all progress and we're just gonna keep doing all the things we need to do like we got him a new saddle we gotta wait unfortunately we're gonna do more exercising Mom, at Stella. i'm very surprised that he did not put his ears or throw i know he like, i know he was like <laughs> yeah he's not in love with stella but let her just go. Let her just go. Like the more she becomes familiar with this place, the less scared it is for her. Yeah, she's like, I'm getting away from them and I'm gonna roll. Oh, oh wait, rolling might not be good after an adjustment. Don't roll. Don't, don't, don't roll. No, just, just. When you leave them in the pasture, they. Yeah. When. Yeah. So like you can't control it. Oh, the chiropractor did something to her, and she put her back up and she snorted. I'm like, oh, she didn't like that. We're starting to learn how to read Stella. Yeah. Yeah, Storm's not a roller. I think she wanted to because she hasn't rolled in the mud. Anyway, Stella was not sore, really, at all. She was a lot better last time. She had a sore neck. This time she did a lot better. But we're going to continue having her adjusted just to keep her in good health. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, she says, I feel so much better. Oh, no. You have to see that. I see it. You have to see it. I see it. Oh, oh she's going to do it again. again. I like to see her free and acting good and happy. Oh. This is Bomb Proof in 101 with Gabby and Sophie. She is throwing off some energy for sure. Supposed to walk. <laughs> she feel well, she's lunging herself. Good girl, you're okay. Oh, see how she comes to us? You're okay. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. She, yeah, she's not supposed to do that after a chiropractic so adjustment. Probably get lots of uh, opinions on that. But you know what? I don't know. I feel like she's ready for that. I if feel she like feels she like she's to ready, just go galloping sometimes. Yeah, like imagine you had these owners that are like, stop, 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 and you just want to go. No. She's supposed to walk. Where did she go? See how she hides behind horses though, to stay safe. So bad that she's not super confident. Guys, come look at this. Look, I finally brushed his tail. So Gabby put a bunch of coconut oil in his tail and found that when she brushed you know, like, it, here, it went all the way through so that when she brushed, the brush got on it. Yeah, so oh, that was the, exciting to be a boy. And it makes it have no knots, but now it has knots. Listen to her. Are you sassy today? She's like, but I just need to get energy help. Yeah, she's like, remember yesterday when you let that boy drive ride me? <laughs> I feel I'll like show you who can I'll, canter. I'll show you who can canter. Good girl. She went like gallop. Well, she was thinking in her mind gallop, but then she's like, it's like I'm too fat. Too. Other people see fresh horses and lunge them and are all like, um. Not they think fresh. it's normal. They think it's normal. And then they see oh, yeah. Stella run one time and they're like, they're like, she's not, she's not crazy. Guys, um, the only 
reason why I ran because I don't want to get trampled. No, but did you see what she did? She came to us. She I know. slowed she right did down. A gallop and then and she she's came a, yeah. Yeah, like it's growing. She it's she our bond like is growing. When she wants to. That is stuff. You oh. scared her by your coat, so Yeah. She, she likes me. Yeah. So horses are like your you people are crazy. You're calling us crazy. Yep, do clapping. And yet she is as calm as a giraffe. She just needs time to get used to things. That's all. Like she has a really sane brain. She gets used to it really quickly. <laughs> Storm, Storm, watching his owner jump. He's like, <laughs> to stay in, stay in, oh my God. I missed it, you guys. She just stood there saying, Stella come, Stella come, and Stella came. Stella come, come that was really impress impressive. That was really impressive. Even if she only does like that many steps Here, in the field. Pretend I give you a treat. Now go get the lick it and give her a lick. This girl is getting to be so amazing. Baby steps, right? Right, baby steps? Good girl. So Sophie doesn't actually have treats. Sorry. Oh. Oh, he's coming to, he's coming to me. Nope. He's like Sophie today. You like me? No, because he thinks that we have treats. Yeah. I don't think Sophie's lesson is going to make it into today's video, probably tomorrow's video. But I wanted to tell you guys about what happened. Oh, I think I already did. I don't know if I did. I can't remember. But be nice, Storm. Hey. Good boy. Aw, Stella's so trusting. And he's so mean to her. Come on, Levi. Come on. <laughs> Close, but yeah, we're teaching him to come to his name. Some people think that we should uh, clip his wings. We decided not to. Um, Step up. For a lot of reasons, but. Step up. Yeah, we're letting him have his wings. Okay. Come on, Levi. Come on. Come on, Levi. Come on. Here, wait, don't put your hand up high. He's gonna do it. Come on. Come on, Levi. Go. Come on. Put it down lower. Okay, go, Levi. Oh, good boy. Good boy. He's so much fun. You know, a lot of you guys were talking about how he was so slow and seemed like he was in pain and stuff. And I was saying that he, that he was in a lot of pain. Like our, our chiropractor told us that, yeah, he was in pain. He just gets like that. That's, that's how he gets. It's like right before he needs chiropractor. Yeah, like just right before he gets, the, he needs the chiropractor. He just gets out of alignment, and it causes him to be, to to get uncomfortable. And um, he did look off though yesterday. Like he definitely did. I've never seen him look that slow and that that off. So today, a lady messaged me who watches our videos, and she's like a very highly trained equine specialist and. Um, I don't know if she comments on her channel, but she has messaged me a few times and I know that I trust her. I trust what she says because like I said, she's a really highly trained professional and she said that she thinks that he's doing something called tying up or there's a, like a more um, official name for it and it's called Astoria or something. Um, Azatoria. And Anyway, it's basically where they don't have, their body holds on to all their um, electrolytes, so they don't get, there's no electrolytes going into his body, and it can happen for a lot of reasons, like changing barns and food and stress and so many things. So anyways, basically it's pretty serious, and so she urged us to call the vet. It's just a blood check, 
and yeah who am i to disagree with um a professional person who knows what she's talking about so I, I called the vet because i do not want to take any chances with our boy he did have his treatment today and she thought that it um and she did a really good job and he did seem a little better after but we called the vet we we're gonna go there first thing in the morning they got us right on the list um i told them what i thought could be happening and we're gonna find out we're gonna find out right levi we're gonna make sure our boy is okay so we're not gonna rod him like, what? again yeah until we know what's happening with our boy. So hopefully he can do jump school because we have jump school this week at the end of the week. I but, have my father's phone but, and it's red. But if he can't do jump school, we're okay with that as long as we have a healthy horse at the end of the day, right? Um, so I posted this picture and I said, what's this guy's name? Now everyone knows his name. <laughs> Big surprise. Wait, let me, let me see. <laughs> Oh my god! I always like try and ask you guys trick questions to see if you guys know them and you always do know them. I have a trick question though for you right now. Well, before we end today's video. Okay, Levi's gonna ask you. Ask them the question, Levi. <laughs> no, them. I have a question. No, no, no. Okay. What no, color? No. Oof, Levi, what color is dad's phone? Okay, don't answer that one. Answer this one. Um, Okay, so last Friday we showed you a Throwback Friday video. I know a lot of you guys watched it when Gabby was eight and she was riding um, Snickers. Snickers, little teeny tiny <laughs> Snickers. And this week we have a lesson picked out and we're gonna show you <laughs> Gabby actually in a lesson. And last week uh, we had a little tiny baby squirrels in the video. And this week's video has other rescue animals that we had and they were so fun. Like I loved watching the video. Comment below if you guys know what animal you think is in this Friday's throwback Friday video? Squirrels! Not Snickers. squirrels. Anyway, oh, that is it. We're going to end the video for today. Not... Pray for Storm. Keep him in your prayers if you pray, please. Guys, we're... Um, we're worried. We're stressed out. Gabby was crying. It's like stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. It's stressful to have your horse be anything, like be struggling at all for anything. But anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.